The purpose of this event was the exchange of ideas. You have a multidisciplinary event, you've got an audience that are filled uh, with different disciplines as well. And they had the opportunity to talk. When you're talking dentistry, you really require a team approach. And that means that the general dentist is often the lead in the process, but they're handing it off to a, a diverse set of specialists. They have members on their team, whether it's the dental assistant or the hygienist or even the front office staff. They play a vital role. And to have them in the audience and to communicate and ask questions in a non-confrontational way really uh, led to some dynamic conversation and we hope led them to answers that they can utilize when they go back to their offices. When you really look at an event like this, it starts with the speakers. So to have Dr. Robert Schauhorn as the moderator, uh, to have Dr. Ron Nevins, Dr. Stuart Fromm, put together a great pool of not just the people that they know, but also to go outside the, the norms. I mean, there are some people that really push the boundaries of what we know about periimplantitis. We find that education is more than just the didactic. So utilizing the pig jaw is something that is actually a really effective means just to demonstrate trial, and to work with your hands, to get to experience the products, to get to listen to a lecture and then to apply the art of what you've just heard. I mean, to, to have hands-ons with Dr. Frank Schwartz and Marissa Roncati, you got two very different experiences from both a surgical perspective and a non-surgical perspective on the techniques and procedures that we would look to bring forward into your practice. And when you're looking at treatment solutions to periimplantitis, it's not just one discipline, it's not one individual that makes the difference. So we wanted to focus in on that component, that it's for hygienists, dental assistants, periodontists, oral surgeons, general practitioners, uh, and even residents and program directors at universities. But offering a disciplined approach, a unique approach, to getting a lot of different people involved in trying to answer the question as to what causes periimplantitis, are there any solutions, what's going to happen, what has happened in the past, and which direction we're moving in the future.